feel this is where uh chat gpt is actually getting it all wrong because this formula is not correct but the mathematics and the arithmetic is a bit you know having some slight um errors which i feel like the the ai needs to get worked on you know so where i am having a bit of uh a bit of issue not issue per se uh, a mixed feeling is the null and alternative hypothesis So today's video was actually inspired by uh, a tweet I actually made on Twitter. So around two weeks ago, I actually posted a question on Twitter where I asked a question that is actually relating to hypothesis testing and uh, statistical inference. And uh, I got a lot of answers from people. A lot of people were pouring in their answers. Some of the answers were wrong. Some of the answers were right. But then in the long run, I was able to provide the right answers to the question so someone actually made a statement and say what if he actually asked chat gpt this question and he hopes he gets the right answer and which he did so he sent this question of mine to chat gpt and chat gpt actually gave him a very good answer which i feel like wow this is so great so it gave me an idea of okay what if i actually ask this ai uh, some couple of questions and see if uh, the algorithms that was used to make this AI can actually solve some mathematical questions. So I came up with the conclusion that I'm going to be asking just GPT uh, three questions and then I'll be posting the responses right here to see if it can get those questions or not. So these questions are going to be statistical questions and uh, so this is going to be, I'm going to ask the question but before I get the answers from this uh, AI, I'm going to answer the question the best way I can and then, like, then we are going to see if the answers that the AI gives us is actually the right one and if it corresponds correctly with what i'm trying to give so without wasting much of our time let's actually get into the video and start asking chat gpt some questions and uh, the first question goes to so let me open my system and try to get the questions out so the first step is actually for us to log into chat gpt and uh, so here we are the chat gpt page so you know we try chat gpt it says we are experiencing ex exceptional high demand please hang tight as we are working as we work on scaling our systems oh i hope you are ready to like you know help me with my questions so let's do this uh let's get our question so first thing first i have a question from twitter the one i posted last week so i'm going to like post the question right now and then try to get the answers from chat gpt so the question is saying that uh, both is claiming that the main arrival time of a ride is actually less than five minutes so as a data analyst or a data scientist what statistical test will you use to verify the claim after data collection so the answer to this question is that we can actually perform an hypothesis test on a single value of a population mean now this test can either be a z test or a t test we are going to be using a z test if we know the value of the population standard deviation or we have a very large sample size as large as let's say something a data size that is more than 100 in this case of ours and then we're going to be using the t test if we don't know the value of the population standard deviation instead we know the value of the sample standard deviation we know the value of the sample size which in this case of ours is going to be something that is actually lesser than 100 so it can either be the z test or the t test and then in this case of ours the null hypothesis is going to be that uh, h naught is that mu is lesser than or equals to five minutes so that is the initial claim that both is making that is the mean arrival time is actually less than five minutes and uh, as a researcher or as a data analyst you're supposed to go against the null hypothesis because the null and alternative hypothesis are actually two mutually exclusive sentences, meaning they
time. So uh, it got it wrong with the null and alternative hypothesis. But then, aside that, I will give it like a 6 or a 7 out of a 10 for this first question. So let's go to the second question and see if it can produce uh, a 100% accurate answer for us. So let's go there. So for my second question, I have this question that says, calculate the PSA. And the standard deviation and the formula is a uh, PSC, which is the Pearson skewness coefficient, is equal to the mean minus the mode divided by the value of the standard deviation. And the second variation, or the other variation rather, is a uh, three into brackets the mean minus the median divided. That the majority of the values in the data set are clustered towards the right like i said that is also true and there are fewer values towards the left which is definitely true so i feel like the algorithm still find issues in trying to get the formula that can help us you know work some mathematics but the interpretation skills of this ai is really top notch you know for the first question it's interpreted it so good and the second question which is this it's also interpreted it so good so i give the ai a thumbs up when it comes to interpretation of questions and trying to explain uh the best way it can but the mathematics and the arithmetic is a bit you know having some slight um errors which i feel like the the ai needs to get worked on you know so let's go about the third question so my third question is right here so my third question says that uh, it's actually simpler compared to the first two questions uh it says that which of the following is a typical example of a discrete 
probability distribution so we have uh, a we have the uniform distribution we have b we have the exponential distribution we have c we have the poisson distribution we have d we have the normal distribution and out of all of this uh, the uniform distribution the exponential and the normal distribution are all examples of a continuous uh, distribution and that is because uh, the random variable that makes them up can actually take decimal values and uh, in fact they are actually measurable so the only discrete probability distribution right here is uh, the Poisson distribution which is basically used to get a probabilistic value attached to events that occurs at a fixed rate so let's ask chat GPT this question and see what you know it has for us All right, so it's done and as you can see it says that a typical example of a discrete probability distribution is the Poisson distribution. It went on to define a Poisson distribution as that distribution that, def uh, that describes the number of events occurring in a fixed interval of space or time and uh, you know this is actually a very good and well defined and articulated uh, explanation to actually answer this question uh that reminds me so for this question i actually have a video that explains this in depth i'll be linking that in the top right corner so you can just go check that out and for the second question also i actually have a video that actually talked extensively about that i would also be linking that on that question so you can just go check that out also so overall I think ChatGPT is actually doing so great. Uh, I feel like the arithmetic and the formula. Maybe I can't conclude that the arithmetic and the formula uh, part is still need to be worked on. Maybe I need to do this like over and over again before I can conclude that. Oh, okay. ChatGPT is having issues or having uh, some some problems with getting the right formula for some questions or stuff like that but right now i think i can give chat gpt overall uh these three questions i can give you like let me say 7.5 you know or i can just say 8 over 10 it's actually did uh, a very uh, good job so i'm going to try to ask chat gpt more questions in fact more technical questions that would actually be formula induced or formula based and would like to see how well it can do about that so if you enjoyed this video and you learned something new i would really appreciate you can give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this uh youtube channel uh do you think i missed something or you have a question to ask chat gpt you want me to actually make a video about go into the comment section and actually drop those questions and definitely i'll make a video about them so thanks for making it to the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one bye for now